Alan Wake 2 is a game from 2023, which is currently running on the Northlight engine, and these are the minimum system requirements of this game. There are two things to keep in mind. Firstly, the game initially had a severe issue requiring a minimum of 12 GB of RAM to play. However, in the latest patch, the developers fixed this issue. So if you don't have 12 GB of RAM and want to play this game, simply update the game to the latest patch. Alternatively, you can also try using this launch command to address the issue. However, it's uncertain whether this command will work on older versions of the game or not, so it's best to update the game to the latest patch. Secondly, this game is designed for decent machines, making it quite demanding for low-end machines, but I'll do my best to share every tweak that I know about this game. Let's get started. Firstly, we'll start with the resolution set to 1080p, and I've set the upscaling method to FSR2, with the render resolution set to ultra performance and everything else set to their lowest preset. Now let's see how it performs. Well, the game is still pretty much playable at these settings, but we always aim to achieve even more. So now let's quit the game and see what we need to do to improve its performance. The configuration file of this game is located inside your hidden app data folder under local then remedy, and then Alan Wake 2, Open the renderer file with Notepad. Firstly, let's address the screen resolution. You can change it from here, though I won't change it for now, but feel free to go lower if you want to. Now these two variables here, it controls the render resolution of the game. Decreasing render resolution improves performance by reducing the number of pixels rendered, but you have to sacrifice with visual quality and increasing the render resolution enhances visual clarity but demands more processing power, potentially impacting performance by causing lag or reducing frame rates. Also, the good news is that the game allows for custom render resolution values, so I'm going to change their values to 100 by 100. Now this key right here is very critical because it controls the super sampling anti-aliasing of the game and you can disable it by changing its value to zero. Now let me explain what it does in the game. Enabling SSAA with a low render resolution results in a smoother but possibly blurred appearance in quality while disabling SSAA and lowering the render resolution produces a sharper image but with more noticeable jagged edges due to the absence of the smoothing effect, as you can see here. Now I'm going to change the render resolution values to 240p. You can also disable certain elements like vignette, depth of field, and lens distortion by changing their values to false. Make sure to also disable GI quality you can also disable HDR by putting zero here. And now these two variables here, it controls the upscaling method of NVIDIA DLSS. You may have noticed that you cannot enable DLSS frame generation, but you can enable it by changing their values to true from false. And now you can clearly see here that the frame generation is enabled. Now there are two more things to keep in mind. Firstly, when you disable SSAA, you cannot enable any upscaling mode. And the second one is when you enable frame generation mode, or if you enable any upscaling mode, then the game will automatically enable SSAA. So it totally depends on you, what you choose. Well, I can say the game is pretty much playable even without enabling any upscaling mode. And you can also try FSR3 mod if you want more performance. And if you find the steps of this video challenging, I recommend you play the video again from the beginning, and I've left the configuration file download link in the description, so make sure to download it from there and apply it. And yeah, if you want the second part of this video, then I'll upload it when this video gets 1k likes. So guys, that's it for today. Make sure to like and subscribe, and also share this video with your low-spec friends so they can also enjoy playing Alan Wake 2 on their low-end machines. And I'll see you all again in the next video, so until next time, take care and bye. So, FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob.
You forgot the UFO cover-ups. What? Those are real? You guys hiring? Gordon, he's joking. Let's just see this body, shall we? Now this is the scene of the...